Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Viss. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get up and running with hand tracking uh, as quickly as possible using the RIF and the Oculus integration package. Uh, so we're going to do that. But first, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that I keep making videos. Also join my Discord. That's where this idea came from to make this video. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2020. Nothing has been installed, so I'll go ahead and take care of that by installing a couple things we're gonna need. First thing I wanna install is VRIF because that is my framework of choice. So I will search for framework. And there it is, the VR interaction framework. Um, it is the best in my opinion and absolutely the best supported. No question about that. So I'll install that. I will say no to using the new, the new input system because VRIF uses the old input system. So we'll leave that as it is. And I will import all of it. All right, the next thing I want to install is the Oculus integration package. And it needs to be version 35 or higher. So I'll import that. And again, I will import everything. Okay, and then I'll close this for a second. Oh, here we go. Um, now we're gonna get some questions. I'm just gonna accept all of it. All right, now after the restart, I'm just gonna go into the project settings and turn on all the XR stuff that we need. We're gonna need the Oculus check mark here for this uh, system and if we're building it for the device make sure to check it there as well um, and then uh, I need to install the XR plugin so I'll go back to the package manager go to the unity registry and type in XR or oculus let's do that there it is the oculus XR plugin um, there's an update available so I'm going to update to that and hope that doesn't break anything All right, so now that that's all set up, um, if you go into the Oculus folder, you'll see this Oculus project config, and you'll see a couple of options come up here. Um, and for this example, we're gonna let VRIF handle all the controller stuff, um, and we only need Oculus to deal with the hands. So if you open this dropdown, you've got three options there, controllers, controllers, and hands, or just hands. So I will select just hands, and that's all I need to do there for now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put in a 3D plane so that we have a place to stand, and I don't like the default materials, so I'll just change that to a grid that I like better. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is create a new object, and I'm gonna call this OVR Manager. And we're going to go ahead and put a script with the same name. So just search for OVR Manager and you should find the same script. Um, and then we'll set the tracking origin to floor level because I prefer that over whatever the default is. And then we don't have to do anything else with that. And now I'm going to bring in the rig from VRIF. So it's called an XR rig. Uh, so I'll just drop that in there and we need to dig into this and find the hands. So uh, whatever framework you're using, just need to find a place where the controllers are gonna be because you're gonna need to anchor your hands to where your hands are actually gonna be. Um, the next thing we wanna do is find a prefab from the Oculus integration uh, called hands, no, hand, it's like hand prefab. OVR hand prefab, there it is. 
So we'll bring this in um, and then I'm just gonna drop it on my left hand anchor so that it is positioned where my controller is going to be also, right? Um, and then we've got some settings here. You need to make sure that you have the, the correct hand selected. So since this is in the left hand, this is left hand, this is left hand, and then this one is also left hand. Um, and then you've got three check marks here under the OBR skeleton. This first one says update root pose, and that basically tells it to put the hand where the controller is, where your, where there's, where its parent is. So this thing right here. Um, so you want to make sure that's checked. Update root scale is supposed to scale the hand to kind of match your real hand, um, the size. But um, I have issues with that. I don't know if it's just in Unity or uh, on the device. I haven't actually tried it, but I like to disable that. Um, you can try it. Maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't. Um, and then this third one is enable physics capsule, which basically lets you hit things with your hand. So go ahead and check that as well. Um, and now I'm just going to duplicate that with the control D and throw this one into the right hand and go into it and change all these left hands to right hand. All right, so let me just uh, pop on my headset and try it out. All right, so here we have the VRAF hands. Um, they're pretty cool. I can move around and turn around and all of that. And everything's working great. My fingers are doing what they're supposed to do when I push the buttons. And now I'm gonna put my controllers down on my desk here and just kind of wiggle my fingers and wait for my other hand to pop up. There it is. And now you can see I can do all the things that I can do with my hands. And of course, if you face the camera with your palms and squeeze your, uh, pinch your fingers there, you can activate these menu commands. And then uh, the OVR hand object, you can uh, create a script to check it and see which fingers are pinching um, and do different things when that's happening. And of course there's colliders on them. So if I had the, a box here, let me go ahead and just add that real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in some cubes here. Blah, 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 3D object cube. It's got a collider, yeah. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit so it's not like that. So I will um, bring this up off the ground and then zoom back out, put that in front of us. And then I will copy that and put another one on top of it. Um, these boxes need rigid bodies. So I will throw some rigid bodies on there so that gravity works for us. All right, now let's pop on the headset again and see if we can smack these boxes around. All right, so with the uh, VRIF hand, I'm gonna try and not punch my monitor. Um, the hand goes through things unless you've got a fist. So you see if I hit it with a fist, then it kind of pushes that. So I'm gonna put the controllers down and wait for my magical hands to pop up. And as you can see, I can push these boxes around. Can't grab them, you would have to code that. Uh, but you can interact with physics objects, rigid bodies, because your hands have colliders on them. So that is how you do hands. You can now do your own finger guns. Uh, if you have VRIF, they've got a cool hand poser, so you can create uh, hand poses by just doing them in real life and then saving them, and that's really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's hands. Hands down, jazz hands. And there you have it, quick and easy jazz hands. Um, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you wanna support this channel, I do have a Patreon, I have a Discord, all that good stuff. Join me, pay me, help me. Um, but make sure to like and subscribe because if nothing else, that helps me out. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I've already said that, but I'm gonna say it again, like and subscribe. Why not? If you haven't done it, just do it. All right, uh, I'm out. See you next time. Peace out.